This is a special report coming to you from the heart of post-apocalyptic Appalachia where a new unusual trend is emerging. Those heroic dwellers of the local Vault 76 are willingly choosing to undergo the transformation into a ghoul. Now you might be wondering, why would anybody put themselves through this process? The downsides after all are grotesque and irreversible. The ghoul's skin thins, festers and decays. There's the social ostracism, fear and hatred from smooth skin groups that comes with looking like the undead. And we can't forget the constant threat of mental degeneration and slipping into a feral state. So what's driving these vault dwellers to leave their human lives behind? Well, there are some rather unique benefits to the ghoul lifestyle. Benefits that make them uniquely skilled at surviving and thriving in the wasteland. For example, while you or I can't go for a pleasant stroll through an irradiated park or explore crashed UFO sites without our Geiger counter sending our anxiety through the roof, for a ghoul, radiation becomes a source of strength, allowing them to explore freely wherever they want. And while the rest of us need to ration our food and water carefully, making sure we don't eat too many irradiated dandy boy apples or Salisbury steaks, ghouls can thrive by just passively absorbing radiation. In fact, bathing in radiation is proving to have a remarkable new effect on these ghouls, with excess radiation absorbed by these post-necrotic chaps leading to a strange new biological phenomena, known colloquially as the glow. This buildup of excess radiation can be channeled by the ghoul into a number of nifty new perks, including the ability to heal physical damage they take in combat, and maybe even tap into the berserker rage and ferocious strength of a feral ghoul when required, meaning that unlike those foolish smooth skins, all the ghoul needs to do should they come out worse for wear from a slugging match with a deathclaw, is head on over to the nearest irradiated water source and top up their glow with a healthy dose of rads. Ghouls are also functionally immortal, so you would assume that over the course of the ghoul's drastically expanded lifespan, where they can go wherever they want, acquire items and knowledge unobtainable to others, and set up an isolated home amongst the radiation away from the fear and hatred of the smooth skins. If they play their cards right, a ghoul could utilize their centuries of accumulated knowledge, experience, and loot to become one of the most powerful beings in the wasteland. So why haven't they? Why do you think we haven't seen more powerful ghouls rise up and stake a claim to their own little corner of the wasteland? Let us know your thoughts in the comments and if you want to learn more about the fascinating and often terrifying subcultures that thrive in the wasteland, check out our recent lore tour of the raiders of Fallout's brutal landscape up here. Thanks for joining us, catch you next time.